All right, uh, hello all. Uh, this is part four. I'm making your own Arch Linux custom spin or ISO file. And uh, we left off with uh, installing uh, the Cinnamon desktop and automatically log in as a user. And we created the user. So um, I'm going to start this video off with going back into our live environment because I want to address uh, the decomp file. So uh, just in case, you should add that core. Uh, cow underscore space size uh, equals two gigabytes. Whoop. Just in case we need to, what is wrong with me today? Uh, just in case we need to add some more packages and so we don't run out of room. So I'll just press enter and uh, log into the Cinnamon uh, desktop. So in order to use the shared clipboard, because we really need that between VirtualBox and our guest system, our host system, uh, we'll need to resynchronize our mirror lists and our database, and then install the Linux dash headers from Pac-Man to load a VirtualBox, mod pro vbox sf, log in, I mean log out and then log back in, and uh, we'll have a, our shared clipboard, okay? So I'll be back when all that's done. Okay, so we're back and uh, go to your, your file manager and we'll just create a new empty document because uh, so we can copy and paste our uh, decomp dump file. So uh, it's, it's called dump.deconf. Okay. And we'll just uh, open that up and hopefully our share clipboard's working. Uh, I saved mine. Hopefully, you shared, uh, saved yours in documents and this is a decal dump file from the last time so control C and we'll go to this and paste that in we'll save and close so let's uh, open a terminal again because opening terminal here won't work yet LX terminal as long as you're in your home folder in this case live user and the command is uh, backwards uh, there it is here. Deconf load and the slash in your home directory and the arrow is pointing the other way. Okay, so we'll copy and paste that in and press enter and see what happens. There we go. All the settings uh, that we had, such as the new mix theme, the transparency, and everything for the terminal, uh, the single click. And our keyboard functions, uh, Control Alt T, Alt H, Control Alt N, are all working. From here, we have to create uh, an executable file along with a desktop dot uh, desktop uh, auto start entry. So let's go to our file manager, Nemo in this case, uh, slash dot config. And since there's nothing in the auto start, there's no folder yet. So we have to create a new folder, auto auto start open that one up and just a new text document and we'll just name it spice theme you can see that it's really hard to see that it's spice theme dot desk top okay obviously it's empty so we'll open again with our text editor and we'll just take this theme entry desktop entry I'm just going to copy it and uh, paste it in and we'll just uh, basically rename uh, name spice desktop theme and we'll call this spice theme oops I'm sorry so sorry spice theme you notice it says just exact spice theme so what I usually do is throw the X, uh, script into USR bin so it'll pick it up automatically so we can save this and close it out. In order to do that we have to open a terminal and uh, the deconf is uh, you can see it's right here so we just sudo copy and just for uh, error free we'll just copy and paste that entry oops paste that in to slash usr slash bin now we have to make a bin bash file, very simple one, and it's just going to be the command that we just ran. So sudo leafpad slash usr 
bin and whatever you're going to call the executable. So I call it spice scene. And just declare uh, bin slot bash slash bash. And we'll just take this, uh, which one is it? This decomp load file uh, entry. We'll just copy and paste that in. Save and close and then sudo chmod plus x, that executable file. Press enter and close. Now if I log out, hopefully these uh, settings will be retained. So menu, uh, log out. And of course this will automatically log you back in. And there we go, it seems to have worked. Okay, so now we're going to have to mimic all of what we just did in our live uh, environment, um, our live CD. On our main desktop, we'll open our terminal and change directory, whatever you called your uh, uh, working environment. LS, make sure. Okay, so we're going to have to remove work and out because obviously we're going to have to rebuild, but I'll get to that. We have to make a new directory. Uh, sudo mkdir. Uh, AI, AI root FS Etsy SKEL. I'm going to put, uh, oh, maybe not. Okay. SKEL dot config auto start. Make sure the spelling's right. And then uh, sudo leapad air root AI root FS Etsy SKEL dot config auto start. And whatever we called our theme, it was a uh, spice theme dot desk top. All right, so let's go back to our virtual box and dot config and auto start. And we'll just open that with a text editor and just control a and then control c and then go back to oh boy where are we <laughs> ah there it is okay and make sure everything is happy yep spice theme dot desktop so just double check a few things we'll save and close that so that's that part out of the way back to our terminal and we'll have to make another directory and because it's not in uh, our, uh, it's not there. So air root FS, uh, I'm going to have to put a dash, so mkdir dash, small letter P for preserve the path, USR slash bin. Okay. And then sudo leaf pad, AI root FS, USR bin, spice, theme and same idea uh, slash bin slash bash and again just to make it uh, error free or close to it uh, or open our terminal sudo leap pad usr I think you get the idea here bin uh, spice theme and just copy that line actually I didn't really need to do much there but Control C <laughs> and there we go. Save and close. And we'll go back to our home terminal. And we're gonna again we have to make that executable. Mod uh, plus X. Now wherever you had your uh, dump file. So sudo CP uh, slash home your username documents deconf uh, dump dot deconf okay to uh, AI FS uh, USR bin all right so hopefully that'll pick up when we build our ISO and when we after we rebuild it'll have the, all our, our uh, settings intact 
for the Cinnamon desktop. So everything went well this time. Uh, 744 megabytes, as you can see, or hopefully, there you can see. And I've already loaded up VirtualBox, and now it's retained the settings, uh, the deconf uh, dump settings. As you can see, the obviously the font, um, fonts. I'm so sorry, the uh, icons are the Fanza set, and uh, it worked. However, uh, in between. Uh, video recording I had to adjust the command to load the deconf uh, for some reason it wasn't picking it up so um, very quickly open a terminal sudo leafpad usr bin spice and scene and I just had that then uh, change directory to slash usr bin and then the deconf load command and it worked okay that's the only thing I changed and I also added a few more packages uh, such as uh, mlocate to uh, uh, just a search through command line so to update that it's sudo update db and locate uh, dump dot deconf for example there, it's showing me where it is in USR bin. And I also added a uh, fall roller as the archive manager. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, but that, like I said in the very beginning of this, it's all a lot of trial and error. And just add packages as you need them. All right. Um, so I think I'll, I'm going to leave it. I'm sorry um, for this again because these videos are going to get very long. And uh, I'll the fifth and final, hopefully the fifth and final part will address the Pac-Bang installer customized for your installation. Okay, uh, so that should do it for this one. And uh, again, thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.